Greetings, YouTube. I like to see trends in the community and occasionally like to make a video just talking about how certain trends affect certain players a certain way. Uh, this is not something that really has affected me nearly as much as it has affected what I like to call like the intermediate to upper intermediate class of MCOC, the middle class to upper middle class, if you will. Who am I talking about? Well, these are the players that often have played the game between one and two years. They play it competitively. They play it every day. Maybe they've moved up to an alliance that even does mostly map five and map six, but at least like maps three through five in alliance quest. Maybe they're in some tier of gold or occasionally even trying to get to platinum. This is not the player like me that has been playing for three to four years, but this is somebody who's really enjoyed the game and has hit a major roadblock with their roster because the players that send me their screenshots and the most common lineup question or category is always, who should I rank up, Prof? These are my guys. Who should I rank up? Should I take up a unawakened void to rank three? I've got tier two alphas expiring because I'm not at level 60 because a lot of these players are between level like 52 to level 60. Uh, should I take up my unawakened Star Lord to rank three? And I'm always like, ooh, man. I mean, you could, but you won't really see much of a difference because they're not awakened. You see, there are certain champions in this game, especially five star champions, that you just really need them to be awakened to be great. I'm talking about, if we're talking about defense, right? Korg is, is much different awakened. Iron Man Infinity War, much different awakened. And so when I see people who, who send me their roster, a lot of times they've got a great four star roster with, with several uh, top tier four star attackers and defenders. But when it comes to five stars, because the way the RNG has worked, they might have only one or two really like rank four to rank five worthy champs, but those champs are unawakened. So they'll send me their roster and they'll have, say, you know, a void, or they'll have um, a Star Lord, or they'll have a, uh, a Cap Infinity War, or uh, like a Magic, right? And they'll, they'll say, what should I do? Now, of course, if you have tier two alphas that are expiring, it's better to put them into a champion that maybe isn't the best right now. Awaken, maybe a champ like Omega Red, but that you can hope someday you can get that resource or just hit the lottery and naturally duplicate that champion in a five-star basic crystal to take them up. But the problem and really the trend and the reason why I'm making this video is that these same players are telling me that if they just keep pulling trash, they're gonna quit the game. Because their whole roster feels like it is dependent on awakening these one or two champions, and they have opened so many five-star crystals and not pulled the champ. And I keep telling him, like, the problem with this game is that there are so many champions in the game now, there's well over a hundred. It's led some people to message me that they think that the the five-star basic and the five-star featured. And this is worth a video. I just haven't had the time to really put it into one by itself. But it's it should be kind of like dungeon crystals where you have uh, a hand-picked amount of champs in each crystal and you can use your shards to try to get a 10% drop rate or around at least a 4.2% drop rate like the current featured crystals for those champs. So you have like a 1 out of 10 chance or a 1 out of 16 chance for that champion instead of what is now like a 1 out of 120 chance for that champion, which even if Kabam's RNG, which I don't buy for a second, has every champ regardless of tier as the same drop rate to pull, that's still well under a 1% chance to pull that champion, meaning you could hoard 100 five-star crystals and still not have anywhere close to a guaranteed uh, chance of pulling the champion that you need to awaken. So. All of this is to say that Awakening Gems, especially 5-star Awakening Gems, have never become more valuable than they are right now in the contest. And you would think with the Act 6 restrictions, as we've seen not only to restrict 4-stars, but uh, apparently, essentially, at some point, restricting 5-stars, uh, that Kabam would be incentivized to make 5-star Awakening Gems easier to get than harder. But if you haven't been paying attention lately, we have not seen a four-purchase 
five-star awakening gym opportunity in the contest in months. In fact, we are right around the biggest dry spell we have ever seen for a in-game offer for a five-star awakening gym. And I don't think we've ever seen a units-based one. We've only seen a cash-based one in the unit store. But regardless, it has been uh, months since we've seen it. On top of that, other than the Intel mission, which I am very thankful for because it gave free-to-play players especially the opportunity to hoard their intel and to have the chance to use most of it on that five-star Awakening Gym Crystal, despite the rigged RNG and the fact that a lot of you messaged me that you got your third straight you know, science, your third straight cosmic. I have opened about 12 of those in my life, and I have never gotten half of the classes. I've never got a mutant, a mystic, or a cosmic. I've only opened two skill, which one of them was the last variant opening, and then the rest were science and tech. The game, it makes sense, YouTube. People will say, Prof, I can't believe you you subscribe to a conspiracy theory that the RNG is, is slanted towards one side. It makes sense for Kabam's monetary policy to do that. If I was Kabam, I would do the same thing because it forces you to have to be like what I had to do, which was clear content, really hard content like Variant 2, in the hopes of finally awakening and failing at awakening my Ghost Rider or Medusa, or you know just some champion that I really, really have wanted to awaken for quite some time. And if the RNG gave you the same percentage chance to awaken all classes, it would not motivate you to spend thousands of units to at once upon a time have to get Labyrinth of Legends cleared in order to get that five-star generic, because that was the only way to do it, really until Cyber Monday last year. But you know, regardless, we have seen these five-star awakening gems as more rare and not more common, even as the game seems to be moving towards six stars. And it is so frustrating to me because even though Kabam now acts like if you get a five-star awakening gem and one of these crystals this month that it's going to break the game, that you're just going to become Thanos and snap your finger and, and all the content will be perfectly balanced. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's crazy to me. It's legitimately crazy to me that the drop rates on these are so low for five-star awakening gems. This should be at least 1% because that was the drop rate at, for the Chaos Rifts back in the day that you could randomly take a chance and land on the path that had the five-star class-based Awakening Gem. Whereas now, they've given you the same drop rate that you had to get, what, a six-star Thanos or a six-star Kang and the greater gifting crystals in over the holiday. So... They're making it seem like it's just, it should be impossible for you to get a five-star. I think maybe the thing that actually blows my mind the most in this is that almost as rare is the four-star Awakening Gym, which you could get multiple times in multiple offers for like $20 worth of units or less. We're talking about like 500 units, 600 units, and now you have less than a half of a 1% drop rate to get a four-star Awakening Gym. I, I don't get it. I don't get it, YouTube. I, I, it's like these, these crystals were made for people... Like uh, somebody joked, I think it's a, a fantastic joke that uh, they think, you know, in game supposed to involve time travel in some ways. No spoilers. I haven't seen it. I don't know if that's true or not. But that in, it's fitting because since this month is in game, uh, that you are having Kabam travel back in time and pretend like the drop rates for five star awakening gems are what they should have been in like 2016 or, or maybe at the latest 2017. But regardless, Kabam, by making it very difficult to get five star awakening gems, you might think that you're motivating your best players to spend their money and their units on grinding content like Variant in the hopes of getting it. But what I'm hearing from these middle and upper middle class players is the opposite. I'm hearing that they're no longer motivated because they're no longer having fun playing this game. And when you're no longer having fun playing a game and it legitimately is a job to you, that's when you gotta think to yourself, All right, it's time to hang it up. And we have lost so many great YouTubers lately uh, that it just really depresses me and other members of the community that were fantastic that will never have a YouTube channel because they've just stopped having fun. So if I was running Kabam's marketing department, I would want my player base to have fun, especially the players that have stuck with me for multiple years through all of the shady things that continue to happen and even the continued bugs like that really frustrating special three charge straight into a opponent after special that continues to wreck me in multiple areas of content, most recently dungeons. And, uh, and then, of course, lag issues and overheating issues and even just differences in the way that because of lag and other mechanics, parries are not even registering for so many players. And that's another uh, complaint behind the scenes I continue to get. So if it's just you thinking I suddenly suck at this game because my parries aren't registering as much, you are not the only person who's telling me that. So maybe we either all suck at the game worse at the same time or maybe it's not really us. Who knows? But regardless, uh, 
The five star awakening gym issue is a huge issue, especially for the players in the middle. And kabam, if you are wise, you will maybe have a unit opportunity for one of these, even if it's a 3,000 or 4,000 unit opportunity for one of these soon. And you will make it to where the next time you give us one of these crystals, you'll at least give us, I don't know, a 2% drop rate instead of 0.1. Because when players see this, they get super angry and they just want to quit. Because instead of getting that five star awakening gem, they just get gold. And they don't need gold, right? They need five star awakening gems. So, uh, end of rant. I've kind of connected a couple of things in the community as I've seen as trends. Hopefully that makes sense. If you agree, disagree, as always, comment below, let me know. And thanks for watching my uh, Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel.